Now I'm going to tell you another story, and this one I have, I'm calling it um, "Protect Your Children from Adult Content." So, if you know someone who's a parent, na amenda kubrash meno, mambia kujenam swaki karibu na radio. We gotta discuss this. So yesterday, um, well, before I go to the story, guys, have you seen the new song by Femi One and uh, Major? Yeah. Nimeja is major. It's a major tune, y'all. It's it's trending everywhere. I just saw a video from Burundi. Unajua Burundi maze watu bado wako sherehe. Eh, ase ni kaa wajajua kuna social distancing. Haijengia uko bado. Watu wako mabash, man. So Easter, it was lit. They were playing that song. You know, Tawazana, everything is going well. And then, um, you know, it has become a trend. Everybody's trying it. In fact, uh, shout out to Aziad who, you know, popped up because of that video, made the song even bigger, you know, very interesting times. So this jam has become so popular, so much so that it caught the attention of the country's chief of morality and a man who takes good care of his hair. I'm talking about Dr. Ezekiel Mutua. Well, this is what he had to say in a tweet. He tweeted, he was like, the perverts who are creating such obs... No, no, no. I'm not saying he's a Nigerian. When I'm reading people's tweets, I got to read them in a different accent. So, the perverts that are creating such obscenity, like Niki Kupea Utawezana, should be ashamed of themselves. Media houses promoting such crap too are a disgrace. Artists should be creating inspiring content to help combat COVID-19 pandemic, not promoting sexual perversion. Guys, I totally agree with this guy. But I don't blame Major and Femi One. It is true. Some of you parents, oh, but not a brush man. One be a radio man. We gotta speak to the parents today. Some of you parents, yo, 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 you need to style up. You know, because I saw in, in one of those videos that were trending and everybody was trying there, Utawezana, I saw one where there was a young girl, a kid. I think she was like maybe nine or eight. Yo, that's where I draw the line. I don't care if she doesn't understand the lyrics. I don't care if it was in jest. But that kind of sexual perversion being, um, you know, I don't care. I don't care. Even if it was innocent, I don't care. I don't care. That, uh-uh, you got to draw the line. You're a parent. Why would you allow your child to be part of something that's basically adult content? So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this once, right? It's about time you take care of your child. Yeah? Don't spoil it for everyone, oh. As we want to utawezana, we are adults. We don't have kids, oh. And if we have, we are protecting them from such content. But you, you who cannot protect your child from such content, you need to listen up. Instead of using your head like a case of eyelashes, hmm? you know it's hard to, uh, do you know how hard it is to adopt a child? Do you know how hard it is? The kind of things guys have to fill books, nini, nini, to get the child out of the hospital. But you, you can push the child and go out there and teach them utawezana. It's high time as a parent, okay? Protect your child from adult content. Let this be the last time we are being policed, being told that we are putting out adult content while they are for adults. You are the one who's bringing the child into the mix. This one is called MP Bastard during curfew. <laughs> have, you had, have you ever heard of the story of Judas? And the story of Judas. Are you story of Judas? Judas, alikuwa na hang out na Jesus. Walikuwa mabeshte sana. Lakini ili come down to the... So let Jesus ana make, ana, ana make plans nini nini. Judas kumbe ana make plans hake uko nyuma. So you ask, kwa mbuks? Eh, na si iste me kungia kwa kili. Zi, chan kwa mbie. Embakasi Central MP, Benjamin Gaviru Mwangi, is what you call a modern day Judas. Allegedly, he was among 34 people that were arrested on Saturday for disregarding the social distancing directive. I beg, when the rest of us were indoors, you know, trying to make Indomie, this guy was arrested at Rye Gardens, an entertainment joint along Eastern Bypass, eh? alongside 18 others. Will you know your video? Let me tell you something, guys. If you're going to do something bad, right? When you're busted, do it with all that, you know, confidence. Because when I was watching, these babas and mamas were mama na wa baba. I mean, do you know how embarrassing it must have been for those 
women and men's children because they were they were our to our on average wako na toy wako 30 30 30 30 30 35 you imagine you're watching the tv and you're seeing your mom there saturday morning you know you are fresh as hell because uliko kwa nyumba mazi the last time you're out of your house man masa na na shinapa na kudanganya nenda kwa chama kumbe nenda kwa chama ruai gardens namhesh mzero mwenyewe so yeah, they were arrested and uh me nataka tu kuongelesha wasio mbakasi. Wasio mbakasi karibieni, karibieni. Please, I'm sure wasio mbakasi. We got to talk. In the meantime, let me tell you something else. Actually, it's it's wasio mbakasi tena. Sasa nya US state. Apparently there were people arrested. See nya US state kwa mbakasi. Sasa they were arrested that they were attending a party, a house party. 17 people. Hey. 17 people in a house throwing house party during corona times. And these guys had been in this house for days as the whole weekend while you kwa nyumba as in mabash tu mabash so sale ona skia ati two people confirmed dead i mean confirmed uh, uh, corona wao tu wana sherehe tu hapo kwa nyumba they, they think it's a it's a holiday it's not an actual uh, emergency that's facing the world right now so what's on embakasi wa mamka please come 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 closer neighbors kau kau kuna neighbor na unaishi embakasi please add volume People from Mbakasi must hear closely. You see, these two stories I've told you, they revolve around Mbakasi. It's your MP and it's your residence. Nini watu wa Mbakasi? You need fresh elections. Walai, walai. You need fresh elections because one on one hand, there's one MP mwenye alifanya boom twaf. Club ingine apa, you know? Alafu kuna mwingine sasa ako boom twaf na mabeshte wake kwa ba. Hey, Mbakasi. No wonder you can Yani all of you, all of you. It's the residents, it's the MPs, surely. Now soon we'll find out that it's the children. Come on now, Mbakasi, you can do better. Shh. So, there's a story I saw and I was just like, I had to share this story with you. Because yesterday we were asking, does, uh, do corona rights supersede cultural rights? There's another one I want to ask. Do corona or does corona supersede religion? Because, I mean, we've seen pastors who are still trying to hold mass, you know? There are pastors who are calling con congregants to church. And uh, I just have to say this. Listen, guys, God is his people, not the buildings, okay? You don't need to meet. Doesn't the Bible say where two or three people are got? Kwani kwa nyumbayako amuna two or three people? Why are you going to church? Yeah, this is corona time. Corona does not respect... Shigiribadi, okay? So, um, an evan the reason I'm telling you this, let me give you a perfect example, right? So, an evangelical pastor died of COVID-19 just weeks after the guy proudly showed off a packed church that he had summoned when there was a, a lockdown, you know, in the Virginia. So, um, he vowed to continue preaching and he said this, unless I'm in jail or at the hospital. And so Bishop Gerald O'Glenn, the late Bishop Gerald O'Glenn, uh, of course now he's dead. And uh, he was just like, I firmly believe that God is larger than the dreaded virus. You can quote me on that. I'm here quoting him. And so, and he said that people are healed and, you know, they clap their hands and now he's dead. And what I'm trying to say is don't let uh, church leaders, yeah, who are looking for, at this all wrong because at the end of the day i get it i get that you want to pray but it says where two or three are gathered get so please be safe <laughs> are you ready what has our governor been up to since since his woes you know what has he been up to have you thought about it Mm. So let me tell you, he's been, uh, you know, first the county assembly has approved a budget of 15 billion. And uh, that's a county assembly for Nairobi. And apparently he's, uh, you know, he's, he's just waiting for his assent. Although he's allegedly been accused of stalling the process. What else? What else? Um, you've probably seen uh, Governor Sonko on the streets 
fumigating, which I think is the best gig in town right now because it's the, it, like if you're a DJ, if you're a, a, an MC, you like, you know, you're a bartender and you're having like, you know, um, withdrawal symptoms of working outside at night, maybe you just want to join the fumigation team because that's the only one that's allowed to move at night. And that's a sweet gig because he has been on the front line of that every single night. But he's also been distributing food to needy families and the Lil Hennessy to help with Corona. You're probably wondering, what you talking about, Kwambox? Take a listen. They're giving some small bottles of Hennessy in the the food pack, uh, the package which we give to to, to our people. Uh, I think from the research uh, which has been conducted by the World Health Organization and various health organizations, it has been revealed that uh, uh, alcohol uh, plays a, ve a very major role in killing uh, the coronavirus or any sort of uh, virus. Yep. You heard that right. Governor Sonko says that, you know, World Health Organization has done research, blah, 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 blah. I went to the site and the site, the WHO site says drinking alcohol does not protect you against COVID-19 and it can be dangerous. So I saw people say, oh my God, this guy, like he's high on his own supply. I'm like, no, 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 guys. No, 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 please. Can you let this, can you let the, the governor do what he's doing? Everybody who's been donated to food, right? You want to tell me your only needs are Ugali and Mofteya Tap? Na, na mafuta ya kupika. Mseki kugeheni si unakubali tu. Yeah. But anyone who receives this package, just enjoy the heni. Iyo ingine, ni maheni. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I'm not laughing. <laughs> but I am laughing. Muranga. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, for real though. This story, is, this story killed me. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you <laughs> so you can wake up with laughter. So, Muranga Thong, a race against Corona. That's the name of this story. Muranga Thong, a, a race against Corona. So the government of Muranga County has rallied, uh, or rather the governor of Muranga County has rallied his people from the start against Corona. Do you remember in March, when uh, even before Nairobi County brought the lockdown, the governor was like, yo, listen, we don't want nobody from outside of Moranga. Stay where you are, you know? And this was in uh, his efforts to try and combat COVID-19, and which I, I absolutely applaud. And then, so, you know, yesterday, it was, it was shocking when, you know, there was a, a news article that there's an unscrupulous businessman that has been selling the residents of Moranga thongs as face masks. <laughs> Let me tell you, I did not believe this story until I saw the video. And then the, 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 <laughs> the journalist was in Moranga trying to record and, you know, like just, you know, and there's everybody. What's up with a pantico also, maze? Cafe mask. And so, na ina kasi, na si pantizi ya mtu watu wakubwa. Hii ni thong, maze. Unajua thong ina tumianga tuka string. Tumianga ya fabric. So, the first thing when I saw this article, I was like, Wacha kuniambia Moranga yote. Hakuna mtu wamei yona thong. <laughs> As in, what will you say? You know, so like if someone came and sold you a pair of trousers in Muranga and told you, hey, you mask, you know, mask, you know, mask, you know, mask, you know, mask, you you guys would wear it. You'd not ask questions. Come on, you know, <laughs> you know, I thought I'd seen it all, but yo, masks, panty masks, I'm done. Vibes Radio, we rule the nation in this generation.